Hey, Taurus. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Yay! How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing okay, Taurus. Let's do it, you guys. Let's do a reading for the sign of Taurus. So come on in. Snuggle up to the table. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put your feet up. Put your earbuds in. Throw it up on the big screen. Go outside. Take a smoke break. But this is going to be way too long for a smoke break. Sit in your car, right? I always used to like to listen to YouTube in my car. <laughs> I still do, actually, listen to YouTube in my car. Um, anywho, so this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, it may or may not resonate with you. The only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. Do not ever invest any kind of decision into anyone's general tarot card reading because guess what? It's not for you. All right, you guys, let's do it. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards because one plus five is six. Six is communication and that's what I'm looking for here. All right, so let's jump in and do this, okay? Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. What does Taurus need to know? What do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Spirit, what? Right there. All right, Taurus, here's what's going on. This is the weirdest thing ever, okay? I don't read for health issues or legal issues because there's so many variables that could change the outcome of any situation, right? But this is a reading about um, health in a certain way, okay? So the devil says that there is toxins in your environment, okay? Toxins in your environment. The lovers. This is um, your family, okay? Or the people around you. It doesn't have to be family. But it is um, your relationships. People who are also exposed to to this toxin, okay? Three of wands in reverse. This is a lack of foresight, right? You don't see it though. You don't see it. it you, it's invisible. Uh, carbon monoxide, um, mold, um, nasty carpet, but there's something in your environment that is toxic and you can't quite put your finger on it. You, maybe you don't even know. The tower, okay? It is um, implosion. It's, 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 it is this toxin in your environment is going to create problems okay the ace of pentacles it is time to the king of swords no less it is time to make a decision about getting out of this environment and going someplace else okay um, the Knight of Cups in reverse to the Page of Cups in reverse. This is, so the Page of Cups in reverse is about an inability to create. The Knight of Cups in reverse is not, it, it's, it's about um, not having m emotional motivation, okay? Um, what these are saying is that, I think these are maybe symptoms a little bit, right? So if you have noticed yourself or if you look back on the past little while, and you notice yourself just being maybe kind of confused, um, not like walking around like, you know, dementia or anything like that, but just being cloudy and foggy, okay? The sun, see very clearly, okay? The page of pentacles that you need to go manifest someplace else, okay? The four of swords, the Four of Swords talks about coming to terms with what? The Three of Swords, grief, sorrow, despair. What would that be? Uh, maybe shelling out thousands and thousands of dollars for mold remediation. Maybe um, breaking a lease and moving someplace else. Maybe it just getting out of this environment is going to cause some kind of grief. Okay? 
but the fourth sword says, come to terms with it, bring stability to your mindset, emperor, and take control of the situation. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles talks about um, um, g getting control of yourself. It's about it's about being able to have enough of whatever it is that you need to do what it is that you need to do. Eight of Swords in reverse, because perhaps now that you know this, you are going to get some kind of new perspective. Maybe you're going to be like, aha, aha, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Justice, it's in your best interest. It's in your best interest and whatever it is you got to do to get out of this environment um, is going to work for you because it's in your best good. Eight of Swords in reverse again. You need to get a new perspective because your environment is toxic. Um, whether it's your real environment, um, the people that you live with, or perhaps it is um, um, the actual house itself, the place itself, the office itself, there is something toxic going on behind the scenes. Um, in regards to health, there's something toxic in your environment that is making you sick. Okay. Seven of cups in the center of the reading. Seven of cups talks about feeling confused. Again, more confusion, right? Feeling just not yourself. Maybe a lack of motivation, a lack of get up and go. Maybe you keep saying, oh, the allergies are just killing me this year. The allergies are just killing me this year. Well, really, it's the black mold inside your walls, okay? The chariot, roll out, get out, go someplace else. The hermit, soul searching and introspection. When you put the wood to the fire, you're going to have the aha moment. And when you have the aha moment, it's going to lock like Legos for you to get the hell out of Dodge. To the Five of Cups, um, disappointment, despair. Maybe that the aha moment is the root of your despair. Maybe you're like, aha, this is toxic. To the Ten of Swords, um, bringing an end to it. But the Ten of Swords also talks to me about th this because of the tower here and the devil, right? The Ten of Swords is also um, slowly dying. <laughs> I hate to say that. Gosh, I hate to say that. But slowly killing you, your environment slowly killing you somehow, some way. Um, but it needs to be brought to an end for sure. The Knight of Pentacles, um, you can't stay like this. To the Seven of Wands in reverse, it will ultimately become overwhelming. And that's when the tower implodes. To the Seven of Pentacles, make a plan. Make a plan right now, the world, to move, to close this cycle out of your life and to start a new cycle. The King of Pentacles in reverse to the Six of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse is you not wanting to get out of the situation. King of Pentacles in reverse is you stand to lose something, maybe financial, maybe money, maybe some kind of security deposit, whatever. But you stand to lose something if you if you pay it, if you take action in the situation, you stand to lose something. Three of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork and collaboration, and the Two of Swords at a crossroads. Uh, lack of teamwork and collaboration, you stand to lose something. Perhaps your people, uh, your landlord isn't going to let you out of a lease with your office or your home. Um, perhaps um, to the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is people not doing something about it. To the Four of Cups, it's you trying to figure out what you're going to do. Ace of Wands in reverse because you can't stay here. Strength in reverse, but your weakness is the Magician in reverse. You don't know where you're going to manifest next. Where am I going to go? Where would I go? This is a toxic relationship. Where would I go? I have no place to go. If this is some kind of environmental contamination, um, where would I go? I can't just pick up and move. It costs a fortune to move, right? Just can't pick up and move. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? King of Swords says you must take action in this situation, though. You must. You must take action in this situation. Responsible action. Four of Pentacles. Pull it together. It's going to be okay. Six of Cups. Maybe family is going to come through for you. 
Um, but the Six of Cups is definitely about finding a new, stable, uncontaminated, untoxic place to be. Eight of Wands. Movement, action, change, move, move, move. Go, go, go. The Empress in reverse. Um, codependency, a creative block. Codependency it goes back to being a, being stuck, right? Uh, afraid of, of, of taking action in the situation. The Empress in reverse is codependency. The Magician in reverse talks about an inability to manifest being codependent on this situation. The situation needs to come to an end. It is toxic to your life. The Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Your future, right? At the crossroads for your future. King of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of success. To the Seven of Wands, your challenge. Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody's going to be angry about the situation. Somebody's going to be real angry about the situation. When you tell them you are evacuating the situation or the circumstances, they're going to be angry about it. The lovers, but your people, your tribe, your office mates, your housemates, your family, your home, your children, they're all depending upon you to do something about the situation, bossing up like the emperor, break free from a futile mindset and create something new, go in a new direction with the ace of wands to the page of pentacles, manifest something different, two of pentacles, balance out this, this situation to temperance, temper everything, temper your fear about taking action in this situation and make responsible, hardcore decisions about your future because you are in a toxic environment that is only going to lead you to ultimately an implosion in the tower. Seven of Pentacles in reverse to the Page of Swords in reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always gotten. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Don't be all talk, no action, right? Don't stay in this situation. Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms with some things. Come to terms with some things. To the Emperor in reverse. Don't be out of control. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is, uh, don't, don't be afraid of Emperor in reverse. Don't be afraid. Nine of Pentacles in reverse about a financial setback. Nine of Wands. You fight for this. You fight for what's right. You fight for what's right for yourself. Judgment. You make a gigantic decision. Draw a line in the sand and take action to the Six of Wands. And it will ultimately result in victory, progress, and success. You may have a little bit of static and a little bit of difficulty, but you need to go in a direction. And don't let anything stop you because your environment is toxic. Forgot about these. These go back there, but it's it's okay. Three of Pentacles in reverse, lack of teamwork and collaboration, apathy. Don't be apathetic about taking action because you don't think everybody else is going to cooperate with you. Four of Wands in reverse, transition out of a place of discontentment into a place of peace and contentment. Two of Wands. So you can move into a healthier, more stable future. Had these little guys come out, right? What is this about? Well, the Page of Swords, some kind of communication. The Nine of Swords in reverse that brings a lot of anxiety and despair. What is this? Well, this is either telling this situation that you are leaving it. It could possibly be getting an exterminator or a mold remediator out that gives you a lot of anxiety and despair. Um, Six of Swords says that this anxiety and despair is directly related to you actually having to leave the situation to the Ten of Cups in reverse because it's impossible to manifest some kind of emotional fulfillment in the situation. So there you go, Taurus. Oh, we had these on the bottom too, right? So the Nine of Cups in reverse, um, a lack of emotional happiness. The hangman in reverse. Don't resist. The Ten of Pentacles, 
to the eight of pentacles. What you need will come to you to do what it is that you have to do in this, situa in this situation. You just work on getting out of this situation and the money, the resources, the security that you need is going to manifest in your life because... You will be taking action towards what is in your best and highest good according to whomever or whatever is delivering this message to you. When you move in the direction of your best and highest good according to the guidance that Spirit is giving you, they got your back all the way around. Always. They got your back. So don't hesitate out of fear to do something about this situation, okay? Namaste.